Hello, my name is Harrison Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com and in this video I'll be talking about how we can create a custom URL page in .NET Nook. Actually, this is not restricted to .NET Nook only. This is a this is a, a feature that is available to any .NET website, but uh, DNN in particular because this is what I focus my efforts. Now, here's what I what I mean by that. Uh, if I go to my files page, if I go to the sample page here in this test site, and if I click in this link, it's bringing this error message, which is quite quite nonsense, quite ugly to show that to an end user that is browsing your site. So how can we make this error message a little bit more pleasing, a little bit more informative? So very simple. First thing that we have to do is go to the website and log in as admin so we can create our custom error page. So let's log in as admin and I'm going to create a new page and I'm going to call this as general errors page. I'm just going to call this name and it will be accessible to our users but I will not include that in the menu. So I'm just going to click update. So the page was created. If I go to admin pages, here's the page. I can access the page, but again, it will not be accessible via the menu. Now I'm going to put my message here and I will say that this is the title error and I'm going to update this and the text will be just something simple for the sake of example. I'm just going to say this feature is not available. Sorry about that. So again, you can customize this the way you want. So let's click on save. Now we do have our page. Page is created, very simple, but this is not all. So let's, let's copy this URL. And now we have to open the web config of the website. And in my case, I have I have this site in my local system, so I'm going to open Windows Explorer. And this is the root folder of my site, and then I'm going to open the web.config, which is here. So this is the web.config. Just close this. Now I'm going to find the custom errors tag, custom errors settings, and this is it. Now under mode, I'm going to turn this on so it will turn on the custom errors and I'm going to add another property called default redirect, which I'm going to make it pointing, make it point to the new page that I have just created. So here's a new page. So default redirect will be pointing to general error. So anytime that we got a, that we get an error, it will be point to general errors.aspx. It will be calling this page. Now, this will be applied to all different errors that uh, may happen in the website. Uh, but you can, you can get to more, you can get more, you can get fancier here. You can get, uh, you can get to handle different error codes with different pages as well. But this is not my intention for now. So what happened here is that customer errors, whenever uh, an error occurs, it will direct the user to this page. So let's save this. And now let's let's give it a try. Let's open the site here. This is the page that was opened. Now, before we get an error, when we create, we're clicking under this sample two. So let's click there. Now, instead of giving that ugly error message, it's going, it's coming out to the nice error page that we have just created. And again, you can put anything you want. Anytime that will, that uh, an error like this will happen, it will direct to this page and maybe it will give more instructions or even it will say, please contact uh, the site admin at and then put your email address, something like that. But again, much more pleasing than that, than that ugly and raw error message that was showing before. Okay, so this basically is it for now. Uh, this is how you're going to go about creating a custom URL page on your .NET Nook website. Thank you.